In this video, we'll show you where north is, demonstrate how to use the magnetic needle as a helper to find north, and show you how to adjust your compass for your specific area. A compass is a tool to find north in the real world, where there is magnetism. The space plate has nothing to do with finding north, so we'll just cover it with a sticky for now. North is the direction towards the geographic north pole, the farthest point north on Earth. South pole, north pole, Santa. This direction is what we're talking about when we say north, and it's also called true north. To use your compass, the N on the ring has to be pointed towards north. Well, bummer, in most places on Earth, the north, red end of the magnetic needle on your compass, doesn't point directly to north. The magnetic needle aligns with the magnetic field around it. The direction of the magnetic field varies all over the Earth and, by the way, it also moves. Where the north red end of the needle points is called magnetic north. Don't confuse this with true north, which is the stable direction towards the North Pole. This difference between north and magnetic north is called declination. You can look up the local declination online and once you know it, you can use the magnetic needle as a reliable helper to find north. Here's how. To use the magnetic needle as a helper to find north, you have to adjust your compass. On your compass, we have this red outline for the needle that we can move. This compass has not been adjusted. This compass has been adjusted. See the outline is not lined up with the N on the ring? It's over here, east of north. It's adjusted so that it matches your declination, the difference between north and magnetic north, where the needle points. In Southern California, the declination is 12 degrees east of north, so that's what you'll set on your compass. This outline is called the orienting arrow. When you use the magnetic needle, you always use the orienting arrow with it. Here's how to move the orienting arrow on your compass so it looks like this. It's easy. Turn your compass over and look at the back. There's a little brass screw and on the lanyard is a little key. Push the little key in there real good so it won't slip and turn it clockwise about a half a turn until the indicator right here, this little black tail right here, points to 12 degrees east declination. Just turn it back and forth until you get it right. There we go. See, that was easy. Try to set yours before your first outing, okay? Now flip the compass back over. You see that the orienting arrow no longer points to the end on the ring. Good. Now we can use the magnetic needle as a helper to find north. Rotate the whole compass until the red end of the orienting arrow lines up with the red end of the needle. We call that trapping the needle, or boxing the needle, or even putting red in the shed. When the needle is trapped, the N on the ring points in the direction of true north, to the North Pole, like it's supposed to. See, the magnetic needle doesn't point to north, but it's making the N on the ring point to north. So remember, why do we trap the needle? We trap the needle so the N on the ring points to north. You won't forget that, will you? We trap the needle so the N on the ring points to north. Okay, now you're ready for fun.